What's up, YouTube? So today, I've got another review. Um, today, uh, well, yesterday was my birthday. Uh, and so my beautiful wife got me a couple of yayos because she's awesome. So the first one I'm going to do a review of is the Duncan Origami. Now, this is Brian Jardine's um, signature. It just came out uh, a month or so ago. And... Uh, I gotta say, uh, I really, really, really like it. So um, let's get right into the specs. So it's 56.12 di um, millimeter diameter. It is 43.6 millimeters wide. The gap is 4.5 millimeters. And the uh, weight is 66.7 grams. So it falls right into that sweet, like 66, 67 gram um, weight spot. Um, it is a uh, 10 ball concave bearing and uh, comes with the standard uh, Duncan SG sticker, 19 millimeters. It's not, uh, it's your standard silicone sticker. It's nothing special, nothing to write home about. So it comes in a myriad of colors and they all look really good. There's like a Hobgoblin-esque type color and there's this really awesome, she picked me this kind of like emerald green color and this is just a badass color. It's a kind of nice matte finish. Um, really nice for grinds. Um, you can toss it into your hand and it'll spin and you can toss it back out. And it's just, it's super duper nice. So, um, wanted to talk about it. So Duncan, um, you know, they've been around forever. And uh, they, um, you know, that some people like them, some people don't like them, some people don't touch them, some people are kind of like, give them shit for it. Um, I feel like Duncan puts out incredible stuff, and um, this yo-yo is incredible. For it, So, brand new, it comes in at 50 bucks, it's $49, brand new. Um, and for a $49 yo-yo, uh, I mean... I don't see why, like, this is better than the shutter. This is better than the Horizon, but it's sort of similar to both of those, although it's not as heavy, which is probably why I like it. So it's got kind of this, like, neat stepped, like, rim in here. So it kind of, like, steps down. Like, the rim's kind of a little bit beefy, then it kind of, like, steps down. So, like, there's the rim's a little thinner, and then it gets a little fatter here, and then there's, like, this weird instep here and then it's fat in here. And, um, you know, it's not that great for finger spins, but you could certainly do them. The cup's decently huge enough that it's not hard to catch it, but it has to then spin sort of like this. Um, not that that's a problem, but that's just that's just how it goes. And, um, you know, I, I mean, it's it, it spins kind of forever. This is a, you know, this is kind of a standard, you know, 60-61 metal yo-yo. There's nothing special about this. It's not, there's no weird weight distribution for it being 70-75. There's no, like, you know, it's not a bimetal. It's not anything like that. It's just a good performing yo-yo in a pretty affordable price range. I mean, a new video game is 60 or $70. This is $50 and will last you longer and be more fun than at any video game you could pick up brand new this year. Absolutely. So, you know, wanted to kind of point out. So I've got some high-end yo-yos. I've got some yo-yo factories. I mean, you can hear that. I kind of like the way the Duncan, um, I think they're Diffio uh, bearings. They're like Diffio licensed. But this is super smooth. I mean, this is just incredibly smooth. Um, out of the box, the Duncans kind of need a little bit of break in time. I mean, not a ton, but they need a little bit of break in time. Uh, the bearings particularly need a little bit of break in time. They don't have a shriek so much as they just kind of feel funny at first. I don't know if they're lubed or they're unlubed and maybe they've got some dust they need to work out or whatever, but they just... They need a, a, a little bit to break in. You need to play with it for about an hour. Um, not that it's a bad play for an hour, but it's you need to play with it for about an hour. So um, as I drop it on the table, 
You need to play with it for about an hour. Um, but after that, it becomes super duper smooth. So let's pull it apart. I didn't think I was going to pull it apart, but I'm pulling it apart. So uh, the uh, kind of emerald green one comes with the cool, super cool orange um, SG sticker. It's just uh, it's your standard sticker. There's really nothing special about the 19 millimeter stickers. They all fit in each other's yo-yos. Comes with a nice steel axle. As you can see, it's not that like kind of tiny little black one. It's the nice steel one. Um, and the uh, Diffio licensed concave bearing spins, you know, for a good long time. And uh, you know, I, I mean, you might need to tune it a little bit. It's you know, super mass produced. It's not a, not a small drop. It's not a it's not a G squared yo-yo, and it doesn't really stack up to those. But those cost twice as much, and. Um, you know, it's not a G squared. It's not a. It's not a bimetal. It's not anything like that. But uh, you know, if you're looking at a shutter, you're looking at a Horizon. You're looking at, you know, a lot of the forty-five dollar yo-yo factories. Um, you really, I think you need to look at the Duncan stuff too because um, the origami particularly is fantastic. But everything I've ever thrown by Duncan has been really, really good, and I've never felt ripped off. I've never felt like. Oh man, I wish it I never would have bought that. Or oh, Duncan was just in that to like, you know, trick me, or whatever. And I've been throwing Duncan yo-yos for a long, long, long time. Remember, you know, I, I mean, I'm I just getting into this unresponsive game, you know, a few months ago, but six or so months ago. But um, I've been able, I've been throwing Duncan yo-yos of all varieties for God. When did I start? When I was sixth grade so I'm 32 now so in sixth grade you're what 10 11 so for 20 years I've been throwing Duncan yo yo's 21 years um, and every one of them is like you know whatever you pay for it it's it's worth it's worth every penny and, it, and it'll give it give it to you I, I mean I've done a uh, review of the uh, the Duncan um, uh, the other one I have. The name escapes me. It's the the, the V-shaped yo-yo. I'll put it in the description. Um, the Echo 2. That's what it is. I've done a review of the Echo 2. The Echo 2 is great. It's old. It's really old. Um, but it's a world champion yo-yo. Um, it's $25. $25. Um, this is $50. Uh, Brian Jardine's signature. And in my opinion, other than, you know, for finger spins... Although the shutter is not that great for finger spins, it's this is every bit as good as the shutter. This is this is better than the shutter. It feels better. It plays better. It spins about the same, um, but it's just as stable. And I, I mean, it's just it's just better. It's got this kind of cool. It's like a almost a combination of an H and a V. So you kind of get this like quick step up, and then to sort of a rounded off V shaped yo yo. So in the camera it kind of looks like a V, but it's sort of like a combination H V shape. And the like I said, the weight distribution's cool. It's good quality. The bearing is nice. Um the finish is nice. I mean everything about this is nice. For fifty dollars, it's like I don't know how you find a better yo yo. This is my um this is probably my favorite Duncan at the moment. Um I don't uh, you know I'll give people shit if they deserve it. I'll give companies shit if they deserve it. You guys know that. Um, this doesn't deserve any shit. This is awesome. This is the uh, the Duncan Origami. Comes in great colors. This green is awesome. There's some like splash colors that are just incredible as well. And uh, if you're on the fence about it or thinking about it or you don't give Duncan much of a chance because you know they don't excite you all that often, check this one out. The or Duncan Origami is really awesome. I it I can't say enough good things about it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.